Hi there, Vinyl Community. Um, the weather is terrible. It's shitty. It's, it's raining. It's been raining the last couple of days. So what do you do? You sit at home. And you decide, you know, let's do a little video. Um, this is a, a little, like, collection update thing. I don't know. But um, I'm going to be featuring my Black Exploitation soundtracks. Um, they are the, the records that introduced me uh, for the first time to, to funk. <coughs> I knew the movies. I love the movies. But the soundtracks there are you know, on, a, on a different playing field. Um, funky, jazzy, just amazing. Um, like I said, they introduced me to, to funk and even you know, jazz music. Um, so I'm going to be showing them, and I I really hope people will res not, not maybe respond to it. I don't know, because I know there's a lot of collectors of funk music out there, and uh, I'm sure they got some rare soundtracks to show. It. A lot of this is reissues, and a lot of it is original. But you know, that's it, and some of it. Is on the border. Is is it black exploitation or isn't isn't it? Let's get started. Um, the first two are um, black exploitation soundtracks for hardcore porn movies. Um, this is Layla, or Liela, I don't know how you pronounce it precisely. Uh, it's music by Bernard Purdy, and this is a reissue from 2000 something. I don't know when this reissue came out, but it's on light, light on the uh, light in the attic. Um, 2003. There you go. It comes with a poster which I can't show because there's no nudity on it. But it came with the original movie poster, and this is a great, great soundtrack. Um, I'm sure an original of this goes for crazy, crazy money. But if you love, you know, your uh, black exploitation soundtracks, funky, just, this is a good, good album. Um, similar, but I think even rarer uh, is the tongue soundtrack. This is, I don't believe this is an original. Um, music is by uh, Roger Hamilton Spots. It's on the Chocolate Cities record label. Doesn't uh, show a lot, except that I know that it's a uh, uh, it's music from a from an X-rated film. Um, can't really say who's on here because I I'm not that well schooled with uh, musicians. But this is another really funky one. Um, in my, uh, I have most of the records uh, categorized alphabetically within genres, but the soundtrack collection I have, I don't know how to categorize that. Do I categorize it on film title or on composer or so? I got it sort of mixed and matched. And uh, the next following, the next couple of records that I'm showing are from American International Pictures. And in my soundtrack collection, I have my American International Pictures records, uh, which are mostly beach party movies, LSD movies, biker movies. And then I end there and continue with their uh, black exploitation movie soundtracks. So, uh, and then from there on, I just go on with whatever's black exploitation. Um, first one I got is Black Hula. This is not an original. But it's music by uh, Pete Jean Page. And this is a great soundtrack. You know, I've never ever seen an original of this. Uh, and the movie is fun. I mean, come on, a, a black Dracula. So cool. Um, also, I don't think the the, the uh, follow up to this movie, the, the soundtrack for that, was released on a re-release. Um, but I'm sure it's been released as, a, as an original soundtrack. I don't make any sense. But 
Anyway, Scream Black, you're a Scream. I have never ever seen that one. I've seen the movie, but not the soundtrack. This was my introduction to Roy Ayers. Um, Coffee. This is another re-release. Re um, I don't know if these are original re-releases for uh, Polydor or maybe they're bootlegs. I, I honestly got done now. They're good quality. Uh, the print is good. So, I don't know. This is a, a killer, killer soundtrack. Just truly, truly amazing. The movie is awesome. Pam Greer kicks fucking ass. Then we got, um, this is an original copy, but it's a copy from Peru. A Peruvian copy of James Brown's Slaughter's Big Ripoff. Um, Slaughter's Big Ripoff is a sequel to a movie called Slaughter, obviously. It stars Jim Brown. Like many, um, it stars Jim Brown. Yeah, it stars Jim Brown. Uh, like many of the m male, um, exploitation stars, heroes, actors. Uh, he came from sports. I believe he was a um, American football player, just like Fred Williamson, and just like um, oh God, I forgot his name. Anyway, um, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this is an original Polydor release on Peru, on the Peru uh, the Peru copy. And this is a good soundtrack. It might have also been my first James Brown soundtrack, so or my first James Brown record. Um, I saw I saw the movie. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Then another Pam Grier movie and another re-release. This is Sheba Baby. This is more. Um, it's not as funky as as Coffee, but it's a good soundtrack. Um, it's composed by Monk Higgins and Alex Brown and Barbara Mason uh, does the vocals. It's on uh, the Buddha label, uh, late 70s Buddha label, or the mid, mid to late 70s Buddha label. Um, and she was on that label, so. Um, yeah, this is a private eye film, as far as I know, and it's, it's not that good, but it's got some good tracks on here. This is an original, but this is a, um, I think a Dutch release. Uh, I know the American one's got the flap, but I, this one doesn't. Uh, Superfly, Curtis Mayfield on Curtin. Uh, possibly my favorite soundtrack overall, and most definitely my favorite black exploitation soundtrack. Um, Curtis Mayfield's in the movie. When I first saw the movie, I didn't like it. Uh, I don't know. It's it's not Ron O'Neill, the uh, the main actor. I just don't know what was what the movie missed to to make me like it a lot. So I have it now on DVD again, and I will probably you know watch it and and maybe enjoy it more. But the music, if you are not really a soundtrack collector, but you love funk music. You should get this soundtrack, definitely. The sequel to that was Superfly TNT, and the music for that was really was created by Osibisa. Um, Osibisa is a uh, an African um, band who um, weren't funky, but they were they had a certain cool groove. Uh, I've never seen this movie, by the way, but the music is good. It's, it's not comparable to Curtis Mayfield, but it's 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 a good soundtrack. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, and uh, this is another, I think, this is a German release on Buddha Records. And uh, I don't know why they had to put a sticker on it saying that the music's by OSB, so maybe they couldn't read the, the logo of the band. Uh, good soundtrack. This is a killer soundtrack, and this is one for an early black exploitation movie. Uh, movies weren't called black exploitation back then. Um, but this is Uptight, Booker T and the MGs. Um, it's on Stacks. Um, this is a, a later 
release, I'm sure. Um, good, good soul, um, funky soul, um, lots of keyboards, or Hammond, sorry, I should say. Um, I have, again, not seen this movie, but this is more of a uh, urban movie where um, It's about a protest, black American protest. And, uh, it, it's different from from the black exploitation movies that you all know and 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 love. Um, uh, it's not um, a black hero kicking whitey's ass. It's it's basically just more the troubles of a black community, and that being portrayed in a movie. Uh, they changed towards movies like Chef, which is a classic. The soundtrack's a classic. The movie's a classic. Um, and I think there were a lot of uh, African American people who were not. Um, they weren't liking the way this was going. Um, the uh, stereotypical American or, or Black American. Um, action star and they felt they were being exploited maybe that's where the, the term black exploitation came from uh, but they, these these actors they were stars they were superstars their movies were being played all over the world and people didn't give a shit I mean yeah they were being nasty towards women and, and white people but fuck it <laughs> they're fucking movies. They're amazing movies. And uh, I believe that those uh, groups who were against the whole black exploitation thing, they finally managed to to get that whole genre destroyed. And a lot of these actors, they well, they didn't find any more work because of that. Except actors like um, Fred Williamson, Pam Grier, and. Um, Better actors like Jeff S. Cotto was in this one. This is a hundred across 110th Street. Music by Bobby Walmack. Another reissue. This is such a such a good good soundtrack. The movie is, l I think, less black exploitation, more gangster. Excuse me, more gangster. Um. um yeah, Seth Cotto ain't on here on this cover. Oh well, it's it's a really really good movie, and uh, soundtrack's killer as well. This is a soundtrack that I got from a friend last year. It's on red vinyl. The quality is not that good. It's three the hard way. Uh, the impressions. I think this is. Without Curtis Mayfield or with, I, I'm not too sure. It doesn't doesn't say. Um, I love to see this movie. Uh, Jim Brown, Fred Williamson, Jim Kelly. Jim Kelly. He uh, was in um, I forgot which movie, but he was in a Bruce Lee movie. Uh, killer stuff. Just amazing. Another reissue, The Mac. Um, by Willie Hutch, another classic, funky soundtrack. Uh, I have not seen the movie. I don't even own it, but yeah, this is classic stuff. Um, Richard Pryor's in it, but this was before Richard Pryor did comedy. Then we got a really. Um, movie in, in extremely bad taste. Uh, the Black Gestapo. Um, this is one of those sound soundtracks where they took the, the music straight from the movie print. And uh, so you hear the music but you hear dialogue through it as well. I fucking hate that. I can't stand that. Uh, so I don't know if this was originally released as a soundtrack without dialogue. Uh, this is Pretty uh, 
It's a pr- this is one of those sleazy black exploitation movies. I mean, calling it the Black Gestapo, it's like I don't know. It's, it's wrong, but it's wrong in a good way. It came with the movie poster. And I love the movie poster. I just love it. It's it's just a kind of bad taste thing. I don't know. Comparing this uh, vigilante group with uh, Nazis. It's yeah. But it's a very violent, very brutal movie. And the music, the music, if you can hear it throughout through the dialogue, is pretty damn good. It's done by uh, Ellen Alper, who I, to be quite honest, don't know. Here we got another amazing soundtrack and uh, my favorite Black Exploitation movie could be Cleopatra Jones. Um, this is another reissue. Um, Nineties, late nineties, early two thousands. I'm sure. Um, this is uh, music created by Joe Simon and this is funky. This is just amazing. Um, it starred uh, Tamara Dobson, who did one more Cleopatra Jones movie, and it also stars, what's her name? Why doesn't it, she get mentioned? Sally, no, not Shelly Winters, I guess, yeah. Good stuff. Now this is an original, and my only record by this artist, because I know he did a lot of those, well, smooth smooth soul albums. This is Together Brothers by Barry White. Um, now Barry White to me is, is one of those crooners more. Soul crooners, the dark, heavy, deep voice. And I, I, I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, and when I, I saw this on a website called blackexploitation.com, they were talking about this being fun key. And I was like, yeah, okay, pick it up. And it is. This is a funk masterpiece. This is such a good album. Um, this is on the PYE label. Um, and this is another album that you should get. Uh, 1974. This, uh, here we start with soundtracks that are less, like, black exploitation that I just shown, uh, the more action based or uh, crime based uh, black exploitation movies. These are more the comedy things. This is Big Time, music by Smokey Robinson, uh, original copy on Motown. If I can show it again. Tamla, actually. Um, and this is okay. It's got it's it's really funky moments, but it's it's not not the greatest uh, soundtrack. It's fun. Um, starts Roger E. Mosley, who I think he was in uh, um, Magnum P.I. I don't know. Then we got another um, Curtis Mayfield soundtrack, but with the Staple Singers. This is Let's Do It Again, comedy starring, excuse me, Sidney Poitier and Bill Cosby. Um, haven't seen this. I have seen another comedy with Sidney Poitier and Bill Cosby, and uh, it was funny. It was a really funny movie. Um, it's also directed by Sidney Poitier. So this has, again, really funky moments, but compare this to um, Superfly. Curtis Mayfield does a good job, but it's not good enough. Here we got a more, uh, more of a love story called Claudine. Uh, music is by uh, Gladys Knight and the Pips, written and produced by Curtis Mayfield. Um, so again, Curtis Mayfield soundtrack, and again, this is a pretty damn good soundtrack. It's on the Buddha label. This is from 1974. 
and the movie stars James Earl Jones. As you can see here. Now he's a great, great actor. Um, not just known for the, his voice work for Darth Vader, but he's a good, good actor. Um, but I'm not sure if I, I am really interested in seeing this movie. I'm not a big fan of, of romance movies or whatever. Here we got a British black exploitation soundtrack called Demolition Man. It has nothing to do with the uh, Sylvester Stallone, then, uh, not, uh, God. The Sylvester Stallone movie. I'm keeping, uh, I'm really messing this up anyway. Uh, it's a musical. And it has funky moments, but it's also very disco. It comes with the uh, lyrics. And yeah, it's good, but don't pay too much for it. Uh, I only have the best of Car Wash. I don't have the complete soundtrack of Car Wash. Um, this is music by Royce Royce uh, and the Pointer Sisters. And it's, it's good. It's more disco. At least, yeah, it's more disco. But, uh, yeah, I'll keep an eye out for the uh, complete album because I really want that. Here we got um, another. This is labeled as a black exploitation movie. I have my doubts about this kind of. Um, the music is mostly done by Nile Rodgers, uh, so it features a lot of chic, but also um, Carly Simon, Ten Teddy Pendergrass, Deborah Harry, Sister Sledge. Uh, more of a disco album, and I don't know what the movie is about. But this is being labeled as black exploitation. I just looking at it, I just can't see it. But anyway, now this is a really good soundtrack. Um, picked it up for not too much. It's on a label called Stang, um, which I've never heard of. Uh, and this is the Petty Hearst story. Actually, the movie's called Petty, and it features. Uh, a lot of soul, but some funk as well. Uh, you got uh, The Moments, Chuck Jackson, Rita Young, and The Rim Shots. Especially The Rim Shots, they funk it up. It's such a good good band. Um, so yeah, this is an album that's, that's worth picking up. I think it might be a little rare. It might not be mo mega rare, but you know, it's cool. And the last record I'm going to show you is Diamonds, which... Um, stars uh, Richard Roundtree. This is uh, uh, after he became famous, of course, with, with um, um, Shaft. Uh, this is a British soundtrack. Uh, the guy uh, is Roy Budd, who did a lot of funky stuff. But it's a British composer. Um, and again, not like your um, average uh, black exploitation movie. It's just it's called black exploitation because Richard Roundtree's in it, and he's one of the you know main actors from the whole black exploitation movement. Anyway, uh, I am very interested to see what anyone else has in this um, genre or whatever. And I uh, hope you liked it. Just leave some comments, and I'll be seeing you. Peace.